Whoopi Goldberg's comments on the Holocaust landing her a two-week suspension from The View. Despite Goldberg's written and televised apology following the swift backlash, ABC News is benching her and asking her to, quote, take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. Co-host Joy Behar briefly mentioned the suspension at the start of today's show. Watch. Good morning and welcome to The View. Um, you all saw the news. Whoopi will be back here in two weeks. Okay. Harris, is this accountability, is this consequence, and is it enough? This is short-sightedness on the, on the part of ABC News. And, and look, I, I know Kim Godwin just from earlier in her career and going to, like, you know, work expos, national journalism work expos, that sort of thing. So I don't know what she's like as a boss at ABC News, but she is a tremendous leader. And the fact that she didn't deal with this on the day, bef uh, on the day it happened is a mess. Like, we saw Whoopi Goldberg on Stephen Colbert before we heard from ABC News. Mm. Why is that happening? Why doesn't the president of ABC get a word in before the talk show host goes on another talk show? That, that just doesn't seem like leadership to me. It seems like a big mistake. And, the, and it's problematic for the show, because now you're in two weeks, you're going to say that you, you're going to fix that inflicted wound and I don't say self-inflicted because it was inflicted on anybody who was watching who was hit by that garbage because it wasn't true. What do you say to those people when you want them to watch your program when she comes back? Mm. The Anti-Defamation League, the ADL, has said that they accept Whoopi Goldberg's apology. I don't know which one they're specifically talking about because she's apologized more than once. <laughs> but, she, yeah. but she apologized then on the show the next day. How does she get back on the show after the muff up that she had on Stephen Colbert? I mean, all of it is lack of leadership. We know who she is because through the years she's shown us. She's shown us who she is. We, we had it on, you know, a montage video yesterday. So now what does ABC do now? If the ratings go down while she's off the show, they bring her back, they hope for the best. If they go up, do they try to bring her back or ease her out, out the back door? Kaylee. Yeah, when cancel culture comes for the cancelers. Um, I don't believe in cancel culture. I, I really don't. Um, but, you know, what's ironic about this is these ladies do believe in cancel culture. I just I had to do a cursory Google of the times they've talked about cancel culture when Gone the Wind was a subject of cancellation and cops and other shows. And they had a guest host say, if you do something horrible, sometimes there's a comeuppance. And then Sonny Hostin, who sits there every day with Whoopi Goldberg, said, quote, this is a long time coming about cancel culture generally. It should have always been a zero tolerance policy for racially insensitive behavior at work. It was only Megan McCain Kane, who said, guys, this is a slippery slope. Maybe we should stand up against cancel culture. Good for Megan McCain, but interesting uh, when the cancel culture culturers become the subject of cancel culture. Ben. Yeah, it's a two week vacation. Let's stop calling it a suspension. It's a two week vacation and the media wanted to protect her. ABC wanted to protect her. Hell, CBS wanted to protect her and put her on their show. And she screwed up the apology multiple times. This is no accountability. This is a vacation. Whoopi will be back. They protect their own at all costs. It's disgusting what she said. I would argue it's a fireable offense. It's not an opinion. It is pure bigotry and racism from Whoopi Goldberg and what she said. It's a fireable offense, in my opinion, but this is not even, I would say, a slap on the wrist. It's a two-week vacation that many Americans wish they could have right now. <laughs> uh, you know, John Paderitz wrote a really interesting op-ed for The New York Post uh, where he pointed out that Whoopi Goldberg, you know, her, her, her real name was Karen Johnson. He says, drop the Goldberg name that you co-opted, Whoopi. You don't deserve it. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.